Hello everyone, welcome back to the gaming flow and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Star Siege Dead Zone is having crashing issue, it is not launching, freezing and stuttering, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even many more issues which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about you have to start with a simple restart on your PC and this is what you have to do. For this we just need to go over here in this icon, click on this icon, go over here in the start, go for a restart. Once restart is done, successfully done, you can try launching the game. And this is what you have to do as the basic step. If this is not working, we have to move to the next step. Next step is nothing but what we need to do is we just need to Verify integrity of game file. For this, we just need to go over here in the library. <clears throat> Keep scrolling down and navigate to the game. Right click and go to the properties. Go to install it files. Just click on the verify integrity of game file. So when you click on this one, it's gonna ask you a little bit of time. It's going to take a little bit of time because it will cross check every single files of a game. And if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, this particular steps will be fixed in this issue because if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing we will be having these kind of troubles such as you know uh, it's not working or it's not launching and all this kind of uh, trouble keep on happening so make sure that all the files in the game is not having any kind of issue next one is nothing but after this try launching the game from the installation folder not from the steam right now we are in the steam so launching the game from steam might be causing the issue so we need to launch the game from the installation folder. For this, we just need to go over here in the file explorer. Now we need to go over here in this PC, go to uh, local disk C, we can go to program file x86, go to steam, go to steam apps, go to common. Now from here, we have to go to star siege dead zone. Now you can launch the game. Or if that is not working for you, you can also have a shortcut that is just go over here in the steam Go to right click, go to properties, install it files, click on the browse that will redirect it to the same installation folder. If you check at the top that is this PC, local disk C, program file x86, steam, steam apps, common, star siege dead zone. Now from here launch the game. So this did work it for many users in my knowledge. So you can, uh, you can do in, the, uh, in this way. <clears throat> so if this is not working, we have to move to the next one that is all about. We have to run the game as an administrator. So hence we are in the installation folder. I'm going to show you two steps which can be done from here. The one among them is run the game as an administrator. For this, just right click over here. Go to show more option. Go to, sorry, right click. Go to show more options. Go to properties. Let me select this one. Show more option. Go to properties. Go to compatibility. Click on run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for ok and try launching the game. If this is not working, most probably you can try with one more step that is known as run the game in the compatibility mode. For this just right click over here, go to show more options, properties once again, compatibility. Now from here we have to click on run this program in compatibility mode, first you have to set with windows 7. Go for apply and see whether the issue is solved. Next one you can try with Windows 8. Go for apply and go for ok and see whether the issue is solved. You can try with both. So any one of the thing has to be worked. So even if this is not working we have to move to the next step. That is all about we need to make sure the date, time, time zone is correct. For this just go over here in the search. Go to settings over here. Now from here go to time and language and go to date and time. Over here make sure the time and time zone should be correct. So most people end up in turning this off or you have to cross check whether this is turned off or not. If this is turned on you have to turn this on and go back parallelly make sure the region is correct. You have to select the respective geography of your country. So uh, this is not much relevant or this is not much important but some users in the reddit they did mention this. So that is why I am recommending you, you can try this out as well. Some people suggested when they set this to the correct geography, it did work it for them. So you can try this out. So once you set this up, just close this and go back and try launching the game. Next one is nothing but we have to launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. 
and this worked for me personally for the games like uh, you know dead space 2 left for death and even for uh, could, uh, a little bit of high end games like you know spider-man morales and many other games so you can try this out as well <clears throat> next one is nothing but you can try with deleting the saved game file for this we just need to go over here in the file explorer go to documents over here now from here we can delete the folder so if you find the folder just delete the respective folder and you'll be losing all the progressions but that is fine just delete it once you delete it just go back and try launching the game next one is nothing but we have to allow the game to windows security for this reason we have to go over here in the search go for a control panel over here now from here go to system and security go to windows defender firewall now from here go to allow nap or feature through windows defender firewall now from here keep scrolling down and navigate to uh, this one that's called you have to navigate to the game so hence it is an alphabet keep scrolling down and navigate to s so over here you will be able to find the game star siege dead zone is already added and make sure the private and public should be selected so if the game is not added we have to click on change settings go for allow another app go for browse go to this pc go to local disc c go to program file x86 keep scrolling down steam go to steam apps go to common now from here go to star siege dead zone select this one and go for open and add it so here i'll be getting the error because the game is already added so i'm getting the error so if the game is not added this is how you can add it manually once you close this you can go back and try elongate the game next one is nothing but we have we have to unplug all the usb devices so you might be playing the game with controllers connected or you might be playing with any other connected so remove everything from the usb port then launch the game after the game is successfully launched just connect it back and try launching the game next one is nothing but we have to perform a clean boot for this we just need to go over here in the search go for uh, you have to go over here in the system configuration go for services go for disable load go for hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for okay that will ask you for restart for everyone the users who are watching this go for a restart so hence i'm in the middle of video shooting this so i'm gonna go for exit without restart those who are watching this go for restart once the restart is successfully done just try launching the game next one is nothing but uh, we have to go for the next step that is all about we have to disable the steam overlay so steam overlay for this just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties make sure this if this turn it on you have to turn this off now launch the game next one we have to go for the launch option that is this one we have to give the first command dx11 should be the first command try launching the game if dx11 is not working change the command to dx12 and try launching the game so either dx11 or dx12 will be working in most cases so you can try this out next one is all about we have to move to the next step that if you find unwanted things in the task manager which is one of the main reason why we are having the crashing issue you have to remove it just go over here in the start right click over here and go to task manager now from here you can see there are many apps running over here in the background so these apps which is running in the background all of them are utilizing the uh, my performance which is causing the crashing issue when you are trying to launch a high end game so for example if you find the discord you have to remove it discord is one of the main reason why we are having the crashing issue same way if you find riva tuner msi afterburn etc they all comes under this and they are one of the main reasons so just remove everything from here the unwanted things should be removed and once you remove it successfully just close this and go back and try launching the game next one is nothing but we have to try with running the game on dedicated graphics card for this we just need to go over here in the search go for graphics settings now from here as you can see the game almost every single game which i have already downloaded i have added it so we have to add the game as well as over here in the same way so the first one just go to the browse go to the this pc go to local disc c program for x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam go to steam apps go to common now from here we have to go to star siege dead zone select this one and go for add so game is added now go over here to the option and make it change to high performance if you set this to let windows that will be having the issue so when you set this to high performance what happens is 
you know uh, they're going to use the nvidia geforce rtx 20 in the background which you will not be having crashing issue so you can set this up as well so once you close this go back and see whether the issue is solved next one we have to increase the virtual memory for this reason we have to go over here in the search search for view advanced system setting go to the advanced tab go for setting once again advanced once again go for change and go for custom size set the value initial size value to 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size should be 1.3 uh, times the total ram so we need a calculator so uh, the first one the calculator is we have to type the ram so the ram of my pc is 32 gb and i have to multiply it with 1024 that brings you 32768 and i have to multiply it with 1.5 that brings you 49152 so we have to copy this and we have to paste it next one is all about we have to multiply 32 gb into 1024 that brings you sorry here i got a mistake okay that is 32 into 1024 that brings you this and multiply into 3 that brings you 98304 copy this and paste it once you give the value just close everything and go back and try in launching the game next one is all about we can try with updating the windows for this we just need to go over here in the search go for settings go to windows update so just update the windows if you are getting any check for updates you can check the update as well because it should be up to date so just update the windows and cross check if there is any kind of updates are there you can just update the windows as it is because running these kind of games the os of a pc should be up to date right now as you can see i'm getting the up to date option so it is fine with me so i have to go for the next one that is we have to update the graphics card manually so i'll be providing link in the description both nvidia for as well as for the amd so uh, you can go to this link if you're on the nvidia go for geoforce over here go to the geforce rtx over here go to every single details of what you need and select everything from here and go for start search when you go for start search you'll be getting the our latest released versions over here like as you can see 536.67 is the latest released on july 18 2023 download this install and restart the pc same way if you're on the amd just go over here and you have to go for update Now if you're on Windows 11 download this one if you're on Windows 10 you have to download this one so after downloading this install restart is a mandatory restart the pc and try launch the game next one we have to make sure that you have to install microsoft visual c++ so i'll be providing link in the description so you have to go over here download this one install restart is a mandatory so you have to download this one and after this restart is a mandatory and try launch the game last and the least one is all about nothing but we have to uninstall the game and we have to reinstalling it back for this we just need to go over here in the search right click and go to manage and install the game for reinstalling it back you should not be installing back on the same local disk try changing the position of local disk and once you change the position of local disk most probably this will be working out so these are the possible workaround which you have to try out when you are having an issue with start siege dead zone is not working or it's having crashing kind and all these kind of issues and i hope this video is helpful see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye